him. They they didn't release what it was, but there was blood found on the scene. Okay. So the bullet never existed and, either. He was just simply. Does this have to do with the probing? Probing. Whoa, Mark! Nobody said probing. Okay. <laughs> People get probed when they get abducted, don't they? <laughs> there was that. I mean, there could have been probing involved. I mean, I know that the alien could have shoved an object and it could have ruptured something. They, you know, that could be. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, there's always a danger of that. Oh, fact, yes, because I mean, especially that they also did not find anything in his blood, so that you know, they also think that he was awake for this too, which. You know, a probably would not be the best. You know, the be- the best thing to have. It's got thought, to be uncomfortable. I thought there was marijuana in his blood. Did they give him a doobie before they did the probing just to loosen him up a little bit? I mean, they, he could have he could have been smoking that, and then maybe he you know walked into the wrong part of the woods where the aliens were, and they could have got him then. It's That's an a interesting d- theory possibility, Daryl. I do appreciate the call. <laughs> <laughs> and we will take any call here on Free Talk Live, apparently. Any call, uh, even ones that perhaps are <laughs> making a joke out of uh, bad taste. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. it's, the question is, is it too soon? And I don't know. Yeah. I never know um, when it comes to Well, the to biggest joke, joke is is the U.S. government and the police. I mean, that's in that area, that, that is really the biggest joke. Yeah, so, it's a killing joke. I mean, unfortunately, uh, I don't know much about this story. I Honestly... For a talk show host, I'm terrible. I don't really keep up with the news, but you know what? I'm a lot happier for that. <laughs> so I don't know much about the story, but yeah, are the police... We've been talking mi- about it every night here on Free Talk Live, so... I'm sure, yeah. Are the police militarized? Yeah, of course they are, and they're getting worse. It's not really news, is it? Not exactly, just because it's so frequent. Is there still racism in America? Yeah, of course. You know, we're not at that post-racial society. You know that uh, they've done fundraisers for this officer people have been independently doing fundraisers for this officer quarter million dollars has been raised for his defense he's going to get a union um, lawyer i mean you don't you don't have to give any money this is basically the do you not like hey you don't like black people put money in this can you know that kind of thing yeah Uh, really it's it's really yeah or some kind of republican like well we we need to support the troops and the police kind of mentality right i suppose it rally around the religion of the state could be i suppose (laughs) yeah 855-450-3733. You can call in uh, with your opinion on the Ferguson thing. I I found it interesting that apparently some members of Anonymous have been hacking, you know, uh, yeah, in this case, I guess I'd call it hacking. You got to be careful with that term because I think if it's done with malicious intent, you should use the word cracking um, because hacking can be a very heroic act. But uh, they've been hacking apparently into the, this police officer's, uh, you know, various personal, uh, you know, whatever Google accounts, or mm. I, I don't recall exactly which uh, which accounts it was. Uh, but also, I did hear a kind of a disturbing thing, and I wonder about this: is that they were giving out the information of his wife, of the police officer's wife that did the shooting, and they were pretty much telling people to harass her. Uh, I'm curious. I mean, what are your wow. thoughts on that, Mark? I'm curious. Um, were they get? Were they trying to get evidence, uh, like about what his character from these accounts, or were they just basically trying to? Maybe, but him? that's not that. That's not the way that this story was getting told. Is that it was an evidence search by anonymous, which they have done in the past for rape victims and others. Uh, you know, for people that have not found justice within the justice system as it is. So, but I, I, I think that people who aren't involved should be left out of it. Sure, but. I mean, you know, if I don't know whether this officer is a bad person or not, I don't have enough evidence to know that. I would like to see more. And um, do I think that police get automatically get the benefit of the doubt? I do believe they often do. And that what that does is that causes lashback. That causes people to immediately assume that police are wrong. And I don't think that one should do that. Mm-hmm. But I sort of understand the team mentality. I think that the vast majority of humans are going to sort of take a team mentality. And so um, if he's on one side, then his wife's on the, that same side. So so attack the other side is the idea. Yeah, I get concerned with with relationships like that to somehow think that people are just instantaneously, you know, be, just because like they're married or in a relationship that they're not individuals. In and that happens themselves. to us all the time. Oh, yeah. Brian and I are in a relationship and people conflate us yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it gets me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Breffany. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go to Doug calling in from uh, maybe North Dakota. I don't know. Oh, K- uh, KTGO. Doug, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Good evening, guys. Thanks for listening up. Uh, it's We're out here 
in North Dakota, and we, we've got a totally different paradigm going on out here from uh, perhaps the northeast of the country where you guys are coming from. And we're we're all sitting out here, uh, blacks, whites, uh, Ukrainians, Russians, Serbians, uh, people from Thailand, and there is such a, a a, a community of people who just like let out a big breath and are and are so happy to uh be able to just like get al- go along and get along because we have a focused goal and and it contrasts so hugely with with the division and the and the and the way that this is being represented uh to us via the the media that we we get over here we're we're kind of limited over here we have we have a lot of different news sources, but it just seems to be all in lockstep uh, on one side or the other. We have we have no nuance of and and no uh, you know I I, I talk to Doug, people. Doug, are, exactly are you saying that are you saying that there are people in the community that are questioning what the media is saying, like the narrative in the mainstream media? Well, the narrative from both sides, there seems to be just this huge division and never the twain shall meet where either the cop is, was totally justified and, and the young black guy was totally in the wrong or the, or the young black guy was totally justified and the cops are totally in the wrong. Doug, I want to talk to you about just a, just a little bit more. If you'll hold the line, please. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I've got some questions here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. I travel for work during the week, and it's tough being away from home. But America's Best Value Inn treats me like family with free Internet so I can keep up with work and those back home. A continental breakfast in the morning and instant rewards with the Value Club so I can save more money at most of their 1,000 hotels in North America. If you travel for work, go to AmericasBestValueIn.com and discover the best value on the road. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You can give us a call at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Talk about whatever's on your mind. Looks like we're talking about Ferguson again this evening here on Free Talk Live. No problem. It's a topic that's on people's mind, and we're happy to do it. Uh, we're also, I'm headed uh, with Ian, my normal uh, weekday co-host, to uh, Orlando for Coins in the Kingdom. We'll it, actually be there, too. Awesome. Yeah, just for the first part of it. Because we're that? going to another conference the same weekend. Oh, really? But we're going to be there for the first part of Coins in the Kingdom. Man, you're jet setting. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's a Bitcoin party at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Free Talk Live is going to be there, and you're invited. Lots of speakers, like folks from the Bitcoin Not Bombs, Mycelium, Cryptocurrency College Network, the Chamber of Digital Commerce, Empowered Law, Sean's Outpost, MIT Bitcoin Project, and... Uh, Supposedly, Charlie Shrim's going to be there, but I imagine it's going to be his little robot, right? Yeah, he's got a tablet that he puts on a little tripod and walks around the conferences for yeah. him because he's on house arrest. And it's hilarious. Him. But yeah, this sounds like a really fun conference, like genuinely a community-oriented um, conference. It's six bucks. Yeah, and the hotel rooms are like 99 bucks a night, yep. so you can really make a cheap um, trip out of it. So It's not so bad. Just come and have some fun with us for kids the weekend. Under, kids under 12 are free. No charge for kids under 12, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, come celebrate magic internet money at the Magic Kingdom. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Again, it's coinsinthekingdom.com. Let's go back to the phones. We were talking to Doug, and uh, you know, Doug was talking about sort of how things are up in, in North Dakota. I assume it's the the new gold rush there with the uh, the shale oil, and lots of people coming to work. Lots of people from different backgrounds getting along. Now, Doug, you actually you suggested that the Northeast that we're up in the Northeast, and that's true. But I'd like to point out that New Hampshire is a bit different. If you get a chance to go sort of look at the Wikipedia article on New Hampshire and its voting record, you'll see that it's the only purple state in uh, a very blue Northeast. Yes, yes, sir, and I agree. And I have been to as a truck driver. I've been to New Hampshire many times, and I and I actually enjoyed. Uh, the repos of being able to float into New Hampshire as a as a contrast to perhaps some of your neighboring states. But I digress. I was I was wanting to focus on the fact that the people up here come up here with expectations or anticipating that there's going to be some big pushback and there's going to be all sorts of this strife and, and having to scrabble for, you know, your your ethnic group and there's going to be a lot of contention. And I just haven't seen it. And and I'd like to contrast that with with the people on both spectrums the left and the right, who are trying to manipulate uh, distorted facts to, you know, to, to underline their own agenda. And, and I think it's just so sad and it's so uh, unrealistic for us to think that uh, there's going to be, that this is not going to happen and that we're going to be force-fed a storyline from two opposite sides that are going to be totally divergent from each other. And yeah. this is what I see happening. It's, it's exhausting, this whole um, back it and is. forth, left and right, black and white uh, narrative that goes on. 
the average I don't think that the average American wants to participate in it is participating in it, but it's kind of forced upon us in many ways. And and a lot of times it's forced on us so much that we can't even see we're so in the dark that we can't see what the light looks like anymore. Yes. Yeah. And it and it and it and it dims your ability to to see the brightness of of the human condition. There is you know all things are not well in this country as you well know. But but I would say that that uh, race relations, you know, are not at front and center. It's it's the human condition that is at front and center, and we all have a, a common cause. And and up here where we have this virgin territory and everyone's thrown together, it's a great example of people having common cause, and, and these petty differences are of no consequence. That's an inspiring story, Doug. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, you can give us a call at 855-450-FREE. I love the idea that people are, you know, moving someplace and getting to work and getting along. Yeah. You know, it's something, though, because this Ferguson thing, I, I mean, I don't think, like the 67 Detroit riots, I don't think any of that ever got solved. I mean, that got solved with, you know, pretty much Mitt Romney's dad calling in the National Guard, you know, and, and I don't, that attitude, quelling that problem, it. yeah, quelling it, uh, just never, I, I think that that narrative never really went away and maybe it was just looking for a chance to pop, well, like o- right now. Oftentimes, if people are, you know, they're staying in their same place, one of the things about the North Dakota situation is is that people are picking up, they're new, they're new, and you act differently when you go to a new place than you sure. do where you believe it's home. Sure. Um, like, home should go your way. The new place, it goes however it goes, and you try to fit in. Right. And I think that that's part of what they've got going on there. Assuming everything he says is, is true or close to true. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to move to Alaska because you know the people in Alaska want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, otherwise, you'd leave. Let's go to Doug in New York. Listen on his iPod. Doug, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, um, I'd like to talk about um, the Ferguson. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about that right now. Yeah. But a particular incident where there was actually protesters um, for the police and not against them. Okay. And um, there was actually an incident where um, uh, the, they actually went to the protesters and they took them away for their safety. And I want to talk about how, so <clears throat> basically you're taking people away that are with you. So, like, I want to know why this. Uh, police brutality is getting as far as they're taking away, you know, kind of like their own fans. Like I, I don't, uh, I don't understand why they're being so brute force with this whole incident, and I just think it's kind of ridiculous. Well, didn't they sort of? I don't know whether they told the protesters to go someplace or offered them strong advice to go um, to, you know, take the ride out of um, out, out and away. Right? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. If- I'm guessing the protesters were white people. I don't know. I have no clue. The people protesting for the police. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the protesters are probably white. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really really think any any, uh, mixed color, anybody out there, because like that, especially because it was a um, a not a white person that actually, uh, you know, Michael Brown, if he was white, I think this whole situation would be a little bit different. There was a shooting in Utah this last week. There was a shooting of a a, a black officer shot a white unarmed person, unarmed man in Utah. And um, it's interesting to see sort of the, the differences as that story is getting nowhere. Definitely, exactly. And no, especially because he, he's white and right now with this whole incident, it's not going to get any attention whatsoever, really. Um, only, only other uh, maybe white people are going to get angry and say, well, hey, why are you looking into this when, you know, you're angry about this? You know, that's really the only uh, thing that's probably going to be happening with that story. Is well, I, I think that white people are much more likely to believe that the judicial system is going to work for them than black people are. Sure. Uh, that's, you know, and I can see why. <laughs> so if if black people in this country believed the judicial system was going to either work in their favor or at the very least dispense justice, then you probably wouldn't have what we have. But the reason we don't have peace in Ferguson is because the residents of Ferguson don't believe we have justice. Yeah, exactly. And um, I actually got my friend here. He t- he's talking about the incident, too. You know, we, we listen to the show. He said that he wants to talk to you one more quick. He's on. Sure, yeah, put him yeah. on. Unusual. Yeah, hello. hello. 
<laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, how you doing? Uh, all, um, well. We're on the radio. <laughs> and so What's are on you. your mind? <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I, I definitely know this is a heated topic and everything, but uh, I'd like to talk about one of the like weirdest things about how the alien stuff up in Michael Brown. Sorry, <laughs> hold on just a second. We are in the break. Um, looks like we missed our commercials. Yeah. Buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Talk live. My apologies. Technical difficulties there on the way out. Sometimes, you know, it's live radio and you can call in. You know what happened? We totally got abducted by aliens and we saw Michael Brown. <laughs> we are getting alien pranked tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
I, I had. I'm not complaining about that. You know, they weren't profane. We didn't have to dump their calls. Like those calls can be very entertaining. Yeah, no problem. I have no problem with uh, no problem with talking a good, about good crank uh, <laughs> you know, aliens. Uh, I think it's kind of uh, amusing. If you want to get bitcoins, the place to go to exp- is ExpressCoin.com. They make it fast, safe, easy. It's completely legal. Very inexpensive. All you have to do is go to well, first you go to ExpressCoin.com get sort of a, a purchase order and then you can go to a um, credit union right in your town that has share branching make a deposit within one business day you'll have your bitcoins or dogecoin or litecoin or blackcoin or darkcoin whatever you want yes you can do it in canada and if you use coupon code ftl you can get up to 40 dollars uh, worth of your cryptocurrency of choice for no fee at all and you can even do it from your smartphone expresscoin.com that's expresscoin.com coupon code ftl it's uh it's pretty awesome I love it that they offer so many different currencies. Uh, I mean, that really gives people a chance to get in on some uh, interesting new technologies, I think. You know, so speaking of uh, of aliens, one time I was in a <laughs> bar, I was back when I was single, and a uh, a gal, I you know, sort of feeling me out uh, as to whether or not I would be a, a prospect. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, somehow or another, she she's like you know, asked me whether I, if I, I don't know why, but I said I was a libertarian, right? And I don't know how it came up. And she's like, and I guess she got the idea that libertarians are crazy. And somebody told her that. Can't imagine where she would have gotten that idea. Somewhere along the line. (laughs) So she said, do you believe in aliens? (laughs) And I stopped for a second because I've never been asked these questions in conjunction with each other. And I said, well, I don't know about alien visits to Earth, But I do think that it is statistically quite possible that there's life on other planets. And I suppose that life might be able to travel, um, you know, hyper light. And maybe if they've wanted to do that, they've visited here. I suspect, however, most of the people that have claimed to be probed are crazy. And, you know, something to that effect. Uh That seemed to set her mind at ease. (laughs) That's a pretty rational answer. Like, okay, now we can talk politics. That's (laughs) right. We got that out of the way. That was all she could conflate libertarianism (laughs) to, believing in aliens. Um, Wonder how that happens. I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) So I, I got an interesting article I've been holding all week, and I'd like to get to it. It's the 11 countries with the most personal freedom is what it is uh, uh, defined as. It's what, do you, from, what do you need 11 for? You've got America. What, what are their <laughs> countries necessary? From capitalismisfreedom.com. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. but um, <laughs> I don't either. The 11 countries with the most personal freedom. Now, we have had these charts of economic freedom for years. There's one at freetheworld.org. Another one from the Heritage Foundation. The United States is currently um, not in the top five on either and not in the top 10 on one. I think it's like eight, yeah. uh, ranking eight and 18th or eight and 17th, I think. There are various indexes out there. And I mean, to a certain extent, you can criticize the placement of countries on a list based on the category of personal freedom or economic freedom or journalistic freedom. I mean, it's all different aspects of freedom, right? But For you to decide what's the freest country for you or what's the freest place on this planet for you, you have to incorporate your values and what's important to you. Sure. So it's going to be different for everybody. If you like to surf, then, um, you know, perhaps some landlocked country in Africa isn't going to be the freest place, right? Yeah. Sure. And, you know, these things matter to people. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to grow your own food... Uh, you know, maybe Nenevit isn't the Canadian <laughs> province for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, even having said that... That's a that, territory, not a province. Is it a territory? You're right, it is. Yeah. Even having said that, it is very telling when the U.S., which is supposed... We're told this line that it's the freest country on Earth, right? That's it's, what we were told very, when we were growing up. I don't think anybody says that crap anymore. Yeah, maybe it's just gotten so obvious that it's just not true. Although some people have called in and said it. You have to be. Um, you have to have been drunk, maybe from 1987 on, yeah. to uh, to believe that the United States is still the freest country in the world. Yeah, that was the real. It's. I mean, it's been a real turning point. There it, is no statistical evidence for that claim mm. today. Well, uh, free, freest. I mean, that's an arbitrary description, right? So you, it's no just a evidence. feeling. It's kind of faith based that you have, right? <laughs> but I don't yeah, know there what is it means. no. There is no evidence. If you try to make it objective and measurable, there is no evidence, and it's that's an, why I was saying it's telling that the U.S. doesn't show up on these lists no matter what category you look at right, right you can say it's the best country on earth because that is a um subjective opinion that uh, you know you you can just make i like this place 
Fine. I like vanilla ice cream. Indeed. <laughs> Chocolate vanilla chews. Um, whereas you can't say that vanilla contains more chocolate than chocolate. You know, in therefore, the United States is not the freest country. It hasn't. It doesn't rank uh, highest on Free the World. It ranks eighth on uh, uh, the Heritage Foundation, seventeenth on Free the World, like forty something on the Reporters Without Borders. But Mark, that's because nobody cares. You know, everybody's just gotten so uh, uh, apathetic about freedom that that's why it's not on the list anymore. I think that there's something to be said for that um, opinion is is that if enough people don't care, then it's not going to make a difference because in sort of a republic, uh, you know, a a democratic republic, enough people have to believe something in order for it to happen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we're nowhere near that. People are fat and happy. Yeah, I mean, just when people, I you know, people call in or, or you just hear it around and people say that, I mean, I just, I don't think the idea of, of America being on any of those lists has been true for probably at least 100 years. I don't I mean, know. I, I I don't know. I couldn't, I, I I wouldn't, it seems to me that maybe it's true, but then, you know, who's who's right in the list at that point? Sure, right. So let's go on with this. Um, freest socially. Number one, the Netherlands. Score 9.5 as the only country that currently allows both gay marriage and marijuana use on a national scale. Is it any wonder that the Netherlands took first place? I don't know if those are the things for me, but okay. (laughs) Fine. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing. And and Doesn't Colorado allow that? Doesn't Washington allow those things? Right. Well, maybe we should treat them as separate countries, right? But um, it's an interesting point. In fact, maybe this will apply to all all of these countries. But... I wonder, you know, we complain uh, and and a lot of our, you know, really intelligent callers, you know, we talk about how people are overtaxed in the U.S., uh, you know, the stuff going on in Ferguson, all this other crazy things. If you, you know, and that all of this stems from the government, from government, you know, whatever nonsense they're pulling. Um, What if you grew up in a country like the Netherlands where things aren't necessarily that bad? Would you ever get to the point, you know, would you ever get to volunteerism? Would you ever get to the point to where you're like, yeah, government's a bad idea? What if you are in a country, what is it, like uh, like Norway, where, you know, Norway is not in debt. It, it's one of the, maybe the only country on the planet that isn't in debt. You know, how but how does your argument against government work there? If you like what's going on in your country, you're, you're going to say that everything they're doing is right. Mm-hmm. But in places, you know, in those uh, Scandinavian countries, they tend to do things one way. And you either fit the cookie cutter or you don't fit the cookie cutter. Sure. And that can be very difficult for people who don't fit the cookie cutter. <laughs> yeah, know? sure. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I just, I do wonder about sometimes where people think like, oh, how can these people not see that they're in a socialist, you know, uh, uh, atrocity of a country or something? But I think at the same time, if if things aren't by the numbers, like we're discussing to some degree here, or this isn't by the numbers, this is about you know it's marijuana and all that. I guess it's by the numbers. Uh, by their numbers. <laughs> yeah, by their numbers. How, how do you come to the realization that things are bad, you know, that you are inherently without freedom? Well, I, I think that what this, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I think Yeah, that I don't either. You, either. you have to be somewhat dissatisfied with the system. Sure. Um, it takes it, it takes a lot to, to sort of step outside your box and look at other people's boxes. Yes. But I think it also speaks to the power of putting together a list like this. This is the first list I've seen that ranks social freedom. So I don't care if they just rated it on gay marriage. It's the <laughs> only list. Yeah. That, that that uh, you know talks about social freedom. Yeah. So uh, we need and to get some competition in here. That's right. <laughs> I think that uh, gay marriage can be tyrannical at the same time because if, for instance, you've got to make a um, cake that for somebody you disagree with, you know, like if if I'm a uh, you know evangelical Christian and I'm uh, run a cake shop, I don't think I should be forced to make a cake for a gay couple that comes in. Oh sure, I think state sanctioned marriage in any flavor is uh, can be tyrannical. So I mean, I imagine that the people that are putting this uh, list together probably don't value it the same way I do. True. But it's they've got the only list. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three or LRN FM on Skype. Free Talk Live. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones. 
Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. We have been brought forward to bring out the truth. I knew this was All true. right, what is the it. truth? No, it's in the two books. <laughs> oh, you've got to buy the books. Now, how much is somebody going to have to pay for these books? It's right online, depending on what country you're in. They're $26 a piece here in the United States, including freight. Now, why would, uh, why would God put books out and require people to pay for them. What, what's the point in that? I mean, aren't there people out there that, you know, Those can't afford that? Those of us that? here on Earth have had to put the material together and get it copyrighted and available. Why would God want to copyright something? What's the point of that? I mean, w- wouldn't God want... Anything on this planet has to be copyrighted to be put out legally. By That's your not true. Not true at all. Not true, planet. sir. Nope. You can put Will whatever you, you want out there. Explain? No, you let me explain because uh, whatever you want, you can put online and nobody's going to tell you you can't do it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin? Any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit Promote.LRN.FM for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.LRN.FM Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. And it's Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. You know, Free Talk Live is different than many radio programs out there. We... Well, we believe you need live programming. You want live programming seven days a week, so we offer it to you seven days a week. Free Talk Live's on from 7 p. to 10 p. Eastern Time, Monday through Sunday, every day of the week for the last, I don't know how many, every day of the week for th- four years, something like that? Three years, I think. On broadcast radio, but we were doing a uh, Sunday oh, show true. before that only. for another 18 months prior to that. So it's been a long time. Yeah, and not only do people need live radio, they also need a podcast to entertain them in case they can't catch the show live. So we you have that to- at archives.freetalklive.com, right? Yeah, go to freetalklive.com. You can the last seven days. Anything more than that, you can go to archives.freetalklive.com. It's free. Do what, do what you want with them. freetalklive.com. 
You know, we're talking about personal freedom, and boy, one of the best ways I think you can get personal freedom is by taking charge of your digital privacy. I agree. And if you want to do that, step one, believe me, step one is to go to ProXPN and get their VPN service. Now, VPN is a virtual private network, and what this will do is it'll run on your tablet, smartphone, computer, pretty much any OS you throw at it, okay, uh, you know, Windows, OS X, Linux, uh, as, as well as Android, and put it on there, and it will encrypt all the data and metadata going back and forth before it gets to the ISPs or whoever. This is really handy when you're going to airports, when you're going to McDonald's, when you're going to anywhere where you're connecting to Wi-Fi, and even at home. It gets done client-side on your computer. This is real digital privacy that you can get. It's important because you got not just the NSA, you've got, you know, bad actors, you have your employers, you have ISPs, you have all kinds of people that are wanting to collect your data and it's not theirs, it's yours, it's your privacy. So you can use the code if you go to proxpn.com, okay, you can use the code FTL50. And if you go with their annual plan on the premium account, you can try it out for free, but believe me, you're going to want this. If you go with their annual plan, uh, you'll get 50% off. If you use the code FTL50, or if you use Bitcoin, it gets even better. Use the code FTLBTC, that says in Bitcoin, and you'll get a 62% discount off of the annual plan. Use those codes, you're going to get a great deal no matter what. But go to ProXPN.com, and trust me, you want this if you care about your digital privacy, and there's plenty of reasons to do so. ProXPN. There you go. Um, let's go to the phones, and to the fun, we've got Matthew calling in from Florida. Matthew, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, thank you, fellas and ladies. Uh, I've just been listening to your show and hearing about you talk about our loss of freedoms and uh, when we lost it. And In my opinion, it was uh, Roosevelt with his new deal um, kind of gave us a raw deal by in instituting the welfare state and instituting Social Security and the Medicaid um, kind of kind of lost me around the 20s i guess is when we when we started losing our freedom and yeah for, for sure anymore. we just weren't alive then so we didn't witness it firsthand but i agree with you <laughs> i think that woodrow wilson um was had probably a lot. starting before that well, too I, yeah i'd say it started with teddy you know well, for calling roosevelt how about it started with george washington <laughs> yeah, really right. i mean it started with <laughs> the Certainly constitution john adams anyway yeah <laughs> yeah I agreed. I think that the, the government's grown because of uh, many of the social welfare programs, but war is um, the health of the state. That's been stated more than once by more than one of the, uh, the, the great thinkers. And the United States hasn't, you know, in the 20th century, didn't shy away from a major war at all. Narrow, narrow one. Narrow, narrow one. one. In fact, we, we provoked them. We provoked them, and now we have all the other countries who are who are aiming their guns at us for the most part. They might not can, they, they maybe can't come across the border unless they come through Mexico or Canada, but they, uh, they have their eye on us. Well, you know? blowback's they're, they're a real money. thing. And I mean, and the, the scary part is, is we know blowback's a real thing, or, you know, the government knows that, I should say, not we. But, you know, the United States, I mean, they're aware that blowback is an issue, that when you go on crazy foreign gallivantings, uh, this is, you know, there's going to be a reaction that occurs. I was uh, listening to uh, a radio program just as I was on my way here, and the politicians were talking about, you know, there's there's like 500 Europeans, um, I think Great Great Britainers, Brit Britons, that are involved in this ISIS thing. They're concerned with them, not what they're going to do over in uh, you know the Levant, what they're going to do when they get back to Great Britain. They've already, you know, they've been training, they've been fighting or whatever. Mm. They're revoking passports. If ISIS decides that uh, Great Britain or the United States, for that matter, is just too much of a problem, they're already willing to uh, supposedly behead a uh, reporter. If they decide they're too much of a problem, what's to stop them from sending somebody who has a U.S. passport already back to the U.S. to do whatever it is that they want them to do? You don't need, you know, if you're if terror is your business, you don't need too many people to do it. Correct. And with the with the social with the social problems that we have in our country, uh, with the fighting amongst ourselves, you know, it's it's a it's a firm belief: united we stand, divided we fall, and and we're so divided both politically and socially that um we're in we're in a world of we're in a world of mess and the whole the whole world sees that and the whole world who wanted to be like us now we are like the whole world we're not bringing them 
to our standards, we are lowering ourselves to them. It's um, it, it seems like the only solution is to leave those people and their mess alone and stop, uh, you know, inserting ourselves every opportunity that it seems like the government can find. They just get involved in other people's business. Absolutely, all the time, and you know, I uh, I really tried to do something about it. I I, I really tried hard, and I, and I'm trying again, but it's kind of a fruitless effort. <laughs> have you heard I'm of the Free State Project? <laughs> Have I'm you heard, heard? Have you heard of the Free State Project? Um, in New Hampshire, I have. Yes. Yeah. You know, it is in New Hampshire, correct? It, that is correct. And as are we. We moved here because of the Free State Project. All three of us on this uh, program are Free State Project signers and movers. And, you know, I got really sort of dejected that nothing could be done on a national level. I still don't yeah. believe that anything It's easy be to feel that way. It's very depressing. <laughs> and yeah. that's why I picked up and moved to New Hampshire, because I couldn't see a route for freedom in Sarasota, Florida, where I lived. And I'm sure that there's plenty of people in Sarasota that are happy to get rid of me, too. And You know, <laughs> you know I still don't see um, a real path to freedom on a national level or anything like no. that. But at least living here in New Hampshire, there's a large community of people who are also interested in freedom. And I definitely couldn't say that about Massachusetts, where I used to live. Yeah, check it out if you would, Matthew. It's at freestateproject.org. As soon as 20,000 people sign up over there at freestateproject.org, then um, the move is triggered. Actually, we already have 1,600 people in state. State. Yeah, over three quarters of the way to the goal. It'll be interesting to see what happens when that's finally... Uh, Indeed it will, and yeah. I'm excited by it. And people that uh, like the ideas of liberty, they really, I think it's the only thing going. It's really the only yeah, thing going. Maybe Bitcoin, is. you know, cryptocurrencies. It's If you're going to stay in the U.S., New Hampshire is the place to I be. I totally agree with that. Yeah, and you yeah. can do cryptocurrencies elsewhere. Otherwise, anyway, in, in go Hampshire. live on a boat. Yeah, maybe <laughs> retrofitted cruise ship. And by the way, when I say a large community of people who are inter interested in freedom, I'm talking like, you know, a, a thousand, two thousand people, not, you know, a couple dozen that come to your local pizza parlor and talk about the libertarian party candidate for office or whatever, yeah. you know. You've got to see it um, before you dismiss it. If you believe in the ideas of liberty, before you dismiss it, you have to see it. Yeah, come to Pork, Pork Fest. That's the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It happens every summer and you can Pork. see all the... You got Keenvention in a little over a couple months. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep, Keenvention's coming up. It's worth uh, checking out. Let's go on to this list with uh, the 11 countries with the most personal freedom. Yeah, curious to hear And more so about number this. one's the Netherlands, and it, I didn't even get through the thing here. Um, though, though it does not score highest in any one particular category, it's very high averages in every category are enough to t make it top the uh, the scale. The one so category the that it really detracts from their personal freedom score under uh, falls under political imprisonment as it is the only nation uh, on this list that sometimes allows for it, despite for not allowing torture whatsoever. So otherwise, mm. if you're seeking personal freedom, go Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Well, I mean, like maybe... Maybe, you know, countries like the U.S. don't nominally allow for political imprisonment, but they actually do. You know, sure. it's like just There's not. There's so many laws in the United States, they can imprison you for whatever they want. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of the United States, it's um, they've got a little paragraph about it. It's worth noting that the United States, despite being commonly touted as the land of the free, does not appear on this list. It scored 8.7 out of 10 and ranks 17th overall. Most of its low ranks come from differences between the states, but it should be worth noting that it scores far worse on crime than other countries seen here not just committed by its citizens, but also by its government. I'm and, surprised it scored that high. Uh, well, you know, I wonder, because I've often wondered this. I would like to see a list of places on Earth, social and economic freedom, ranked, and I want to see them ranked against New Hampshire. I want to see where New Hampshire shows up because Hong we Kong, might have to do that list ourselves because I don't think anyone's going to. No one's probably going to do it. Actually, I've talked to Jason Sorens, the founder of the Free State Project, about doing it. But Hong Kong rates uh, very high, but it's not really a nation, and also it's got a terrible organized crime problem. So and how do you immigrate there? Oh, you just go there. Yeah. Yeah. 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Hi. 
this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Themes Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Theme Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to themephone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E. Dot com. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen with your Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,279, silver opened at $19.45, and Bitcoin is trading around $513.43. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, on Thursday... Missouri Governor Jane Nixon announced that the National Guard would begin withdrawing from Ferguson, Missouri. The city has been the site of protests and clashes between police and protesters since the August 9th shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. On Wednesday, the number of protesters on site shrank and arrests were much lower than previous nights. Private military contractors Asymmetric Solutions were briefly deployed to Ferguson on Tuesday and Wednesday. After decades of centralized banking, top-down government, and big business, a new model is gaining momentum, a decentralized model of social organizing and doing business. Websites like Indiegogo allow any individual to start a business or fund a project without going into debt to a bank. Supporters of the Liberty Beat in South America are building a new chicken coop on their self-certified organic family farm by using a decentralized fundraising model through Kickstarter. They plan to use sustainable and recycled materials to build a safe home for their free-range flock. The family inherited the former sugarcane farm in a state of disrepair, and they plan to revive it through organic farming practices. They're well on their way, and they now seek the support of like-minded communities through this fundraiser. You can find their project using the hashtag VamosChicken on Facebook and Twitter. A link to their Kickstarter can be found on thelibertybeat.com. The Liberty Beat will gladly accept information on your decentralized projects through our website and social media accounts. Well, voters in Colorado will soon be able to vote on whether or not to label foods containing genetically modified organisms. Right to Know Colorado fought to get Proposition 105 on the upcoming ballot. Critics say the bill has many exemptions and would end up costing shoppers more money. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. That's 4 o'clock each Sunday on 1370 AM. This is the Liberty Bean for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Two Yale professors have presented a system based on cryptography to balance government surveillance with civil liberties. On Monday, Brian Ford, Associate Professor of Computer Science at Yale University, and Joan Figenbaum, a Grace Murray Hopper professor, spoke at the USENIX workshop on free and open communications on the Internet 
about their project, Lawful Set Intersection Protocol. The professor said they believe modern cryptography could help law enforcement agencies find and surgically extract warrant-authorized data on suspects without invading the privacy of innocent users of technology. On August 11th, Vietnam's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development approved importation of several types of genetically modified corn varieties. Vietnamese farmers will be required to obtain a safety certificate before commercial cultivation can begin. Well, controversy continues to surround genetically modified foods as a number of countries around the world continue to prohibit the growth of the crops. The corn varieties are produced by Monsanto and Syngenta. Monsanto is one of the corporations behind the Agent Orange poison that was used on Vietnamese soldiers during the Vietnam War. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, Brian Hagen, gave a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Corey Moore Show can be heard live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time and 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. <laughs> from the get-go, coming in late on that first line, singing totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f*** off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a -game. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. That's what Free Talk Live is about. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-FREE, brought to you by Pro XPN. I want to tell you about my magic mud. My Magic Mud is a tooth cleansing powder that um, well, it, it, what it does is it removes stains and it cleans your mouth in a way that uh, you probably never experienced before. It really feel your teeth really feel polished when you're done. I, I like to call it a, a hygienist visit in a in a bottle <laughs> in a bottle yeah little black a bottle tub what do you call that little thing black jar a jar it might okay. be a jar yeah it's because it's it, since it's a powder it doesn't come in it's not like a bottle it's just kind of you gotta be able to dip your toothbrush into it anyway it's great it's awesome I'm gonna use this stuff for the rest of my life because I think it's awesome even if even when they stop sponsoring Free Talk Live I'm gonna continue using it because it's awesome. Jessica Armand it was created by a that's her name she's a liberty loving homeschool mother of three. She created it, and she's been just getting acclaim all over for this stuff because it's fantastic. Dr. Griffin Cole explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. Just go to MyMagicMud.com, watch that video. You can go to Mud.FreeTalkLive.com and watch another video um, that they've got up that we link to. And let's go to the phones. Uh, it's Jimmy calling in from Arizona. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live. I think I just hung up on him. <laughs> oh. I forgot how to do... See, I was getting all excited for his call. He had some really interesting topics planned. Yes, I, I'm sure and he'll And he added back. a new word to his name. <laughs> it's Jimmy Jimmy Donkey French Fry Ping Pong. Yeah, here something. he is now. Tinfoil hat. My, my, my <laughs> mistake, Jimmy. Sorry about that. Hello? <laughs> Jimmy, you have every right to be angry with Mark. 
Oh, he did ouch. a jerk move right there, <laughs> hanging up on you. Can you all hear me? Yes. All right. Hey, uh, that's all right. Uh, I'm sure James is feeling that too. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I want to give you all a testimonial on that uh, that my magic mud. It's good for your teeth, apparently. How many teeth do you have, Jimmy? <laughs> well, currently four. Uh -huh. Probably. Probably three in about a week or so. They're shining now, though, aren't they? Well, that's the thing. Uh, Milford's been using it, and I just want to say that uh, that magic mud has removed the stains in the area where Milford's magic mud comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is miracle. I mean, you can yeah. get it with Bitcoin, too. What you more know? could you ask? Yeah, that's true. You could buy it with Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so yeah. glad it's working out for you guys. Well, it is. I haven't tried it yet, but Milford... You know, I can tell that it's working on her. Yeah. Uh, Did you know you can reuse the My Magic Mud? You know, if she's she's using it on her parts and, you know, you can kind of transfer it onto your teeth. And, you know. <laughs> I'd be afraid, Stop. afraid to swallow <laughs> after that. Uh, <laughs> you know, the one thing about My Magic Mud is it, since it has no fluoride, you can swallow it after you're done uh, uh, brushing your teeth. I don't do it, but you can. You're a spitter. Uh, indeed, I am. Yeah. I, be, you can you can swallow just about anything, Mark. <laughs> That's true. There's a guy who ate a car. <laughs> That's crazy, right there. Hey, uh, so uh, can I? I got a quick story for y'all. Uh, I hate to interrupt this magic mud talk. Uh, James was a little mad yesterday that y'all didn't take his call. Yeah, and, James, uh, James from Arizona. He's uh, you claim he's a good friend of yours, and uh, you know uh, after. Best buds. Best buds. After James got abusive uh, on an after show um, with us, I decided that I'm done uh, with James, at least for a period of time. If he can show... No, not for a period of well, time. Well, on, on the Sunday show, um, yeah. you know, like, Stephanie's just not... Uh, just, Stephanie's not ready to forgive. But uh, I can tell you that... Um, you know, he's he calls into other LRN.FM shows. If he can show that he uh, behaves himself there, then um, I may start talking to him again at some point. And I don't do know really what Do you really think gonna that's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I told him to leave Stephanie alone. I was getting upset at that. Well, Thanks, uh, Jimmy. You got my back. Always, always. Even even there, that Satan, I'll, I'll get his back too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. So, so he called me. He was upset, you know, and I was trying to talk him down. I was like, you know, James, you need to relax. And he's like, no, oh, you know, yelling. Mark hates me, and I hate him. And I'm like, well, why call him? Who cares, you know? So, uh, you know, I finally got to, on a different subject, and he brought up that uh, polyamory that y'all keep talking about, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, I, and that sounds good. I just don't know what kind of dog to use. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Really, anything will do, right? You know. I think it has to be a consenting adult human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to call in for some tips to see what y'all had to say on that. <laughs> uh, sheep, I hear, are well. He's tried that already. Oh, okay. Yeah, but well, but, he was accused. What, but for polyamory, you're trying to keep more than two people attached, and so with sheep, I recommend Velcro. And that, <laughs> it would stick well to that uh, hook and loop stuff. Velcro is a, 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 a licensed and patented uh, name. And it's also a state secret when it's silent. Interesting. I learned so much on this show. I just I appreciate that. <laughs> we, we appreciate Jimmy, you, Jimmy. Thanks for the call. <laughs> Get a, lose some licenses or something. I'll keep them out any longer. <laughs> you know, that is an odd thing, though. In the military, we had silent Velcro. And I asked really? about this. Why isn't this in stores? And it's because it, it's literally a state secret. They will not sell. The, silent Velcro exists. It doesn't have to make that ripping sound. And they will not, the U.S. government will not allow it to be sold in stores. Does it stick as well? Yeah. You oh, it's fantastic. Up, Six better. You don't give up any stickiness. No, no. I don't know what the trick is, but but wow. I mean the the U.S. the U.S. military uses it. Surely you can get it on eBay or something. No, that, that, trust me. Well, <laughs> it's, I'm it's, just saying that somewhere somebody's got this stuff for sale. Maybe out of East Asia, someone might. I see. That'd be amazing, but you know. What else is a state secret that you wouldn't expect? Uh, well, I guess you can't tell, tell yeah, us or else. Yeah, right. I mean, there's some that like, you know, as long as it's still in, uh, never mind. I'm not even going there. Let's go to Ron calling in from Nashville. Ron, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. How are y'all today? Pretty good. What's on your mind? Yeah. Doing well. Uh, I, I was just wondering, uh, that lady there keeps uh, watching the stream and the smile on her face when she looks at the computer makes me think she's looking at black ding dong. 
Wow. Wow. That's the best we can best do? Best we can do. Okay. There you go. Black ding dong. <laughs> and what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if I am? I mean. Yeah, so what? <laughs> you'll never know. <laughs> Let's go to the list of, uh, of freest countries here on uh, the live edition of Free Talk Live, Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. So, number two, freest country in the world. This is social freedoms now at uh, capitalismisfreedom.com. Uruguay. Surprised? It's a 9.4. Really? Though Uruguay ranks very low comparative to other nations in terms of economic freedom, the personal freedoms it affords are quite exceptional. It ties with New Zealand for best freedoms for relationships, the highest in the world. It's very common to see mixed races, race couples in Uruguay, and there's only a slight contempt for, in general for against foreigners. However, as uh, many expats will attest, once a Uruguayan knows who you are, they become your best friend. Though it has so many issues it, concerning uh, political corruption of media similar to Japan, it checks out while otherwise in terms of freedom of expression. So this isn't just all about laws, it's actually about like the culture as well? Well, it's going to have to be. If you're talking about social freedoms, it's going to have to be. Yeah, uh, I mean, to a certain extent, the culture can be expected uh, sorry, reflected in the laws as well, but yeah. um, well, this it's, is about, it's just kind of hard to measure, you know? This is about the laws, and they're just mentioning sort of the social aspects of it sometimes. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. But so, are and what are the criteria again? What are the axes that they're judging these countries on? You know, I haven't dug that deep into it. Um, they just, it's a very, it's a relatively sort of uh, surface article. They don't give oh. me that information. Well, it would help to know. <laughs> well, they mention it as we go through, is like mixed race couples are, are, are yeah. common and so it's legal. prostitution, drug laws, um Gay marriage gay is mentioned, marriage. Um, marijuana freedom, things like that. Mm -hmm. Uruguay, it is, I think Uruguay's, they're better as far as religious, like there's no state, which is kind of rare down in, you know, in, in South America, where religion isn't that big of a deal. Like, they, I think they kind of go out of their way to make sure that religion and state have no involvement whatsoever. Uruguay also scored we very well on crime with a higher perceived crime rate than what actually occurs, though homicides are higher here than other nations on the list. Furthermore, the Uruguayan government made international news by legalizing the trade of marijuana as of last year. Your thoughts on social freedoms here in this country and around the world? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Crashed, the death of the dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realist, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237.
Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a mm. license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And, of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business. But Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest Liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Your comments are welcome on whatever's on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Brian and Stephanie. 855-450-3733. And we've been talking about this list of, well, um, socially freest countries uh, here on Free Talk Live. And I think it's, uh, you know, it's it's kind of interesting. The United States didn't show up and that that's interesting right <laughs> you know the the freest country on earth is what we've been told our whole lives and it, well, it shows the power of marketing right <laughs> <laughs> it's true you say something often enough and then people are going to uh um be able to um you know they're, they're gonna well believe they, it. they believe it but then when you actually you know t whatever of course we don't know exactly what metrics they're using but when you you know when you actually get down to brass tacks you find out oh wait a minute this thing's number 17 <laughs> Yeah, um, and I, I suspect the United States' social freedoms have been diminishing over the last few decades, but I think that their application of them have prob has probably gotten more even-handed. So, uh, I mean, application? Well, for instance, it's probably been legal for some time for black people and white people to marry. Okay. But it hasn't been socially acceptable. Like no. you're gonna You're going to deal with a lot of, uh, of grief over, over it. To and this I, day. Yeah, I think, but less so today than sure. um, than it has been. Sure, uh, you know, uh, t two good friends of mine are in mixed relationships, and you know, I, I mean, one of them lives in a very socially conservative. One would even go so far as to call it a redneck area. He doesn't seem to have that much trouble, and uh, I th I think that it, you know, I think that uh, things are getting better. I guess is what I'm saying. Well, it's comforting to hear. Uh, I mean, I don't know, Ferguson makes one wonder how much better things have gotten, but uh, certainly I, I understand your point. Yeah. So also, I think that there's there's other things about um, what's going on in Ferguson. You're not talking about just the color of people's skin. You're talking about sort of social conflicts there, um, you know, that are going on between, you know, sort of a, a group on top and a group on bottom and, and a lot of that stuff, too. Yeah, there's a lot of authoritarianism being battled out there, not just necessarily racism. Certainly, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. And when you see and when people are upset about what's going on and then they steal big screen TVs or uh, break into stores and set them on fire, they're not helping either. Sure. That doesn't help. 
Yeah. Or, but, but maybe it does. It did get the attention. So I don't know. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't know. I wonder about that because I mean that's almost like saying that that they did it on purpose, and I don't I don't know if that's accurate. If if anyone was just trying to get the attention of it, I certainly think it's anger and and uh, motivated by greed. The yeah, I think there's a lot it. of frustration and just you know I'm going to break every single rule because you when you have such extreme authoritarianism that clearly was on display in Ferguson by the police, uh, you know, and and I'll just say by the government. Uh, then, uh, yeah, I, I think it, you'll get a, a an equal re, a equal or greater reaction. Let's go on with our list here from Capitalism is Freedom dot com on the most socially free places in the world, countries in the world. Number three, coming down the list here from uh, number one being the Netherlands, number two being Uruguay, Uruguay, and uh, <laughs> number three is I just have to do that for Ian's sake, and uh, number three is uh, New Zealand. Coming in, New Zealand is also one of the top-ranking nations in the world of economic freedom, so it's not surprising to find it on this list here also, though the nation does deal with problems of sexual violence as well as uh, theft and burglary like other nations ranked high in individual freedom. It also has the best freedoms for relationships in the world. New Zealanders enjoy a much higher freedom from social hostility towards religion than most other nations and enjoy uh, the more freedom from government restrictions of uh, religion than any other country. In addition, they're very accepting of all groups of people, regardless of gender or sexuality. Freedom of expression is also uh, very high, but not high enough to put it in the lead. So hmm. I'm not sure what freedom of expression entirely means, but uh, what, what held... probably free speech, protest, that kind of thing. Mm, that kind of thing. They but, have no constitution. Um, basically, the government that they have is the government... That, like, it can change all the time. It's fluid. Hmm. Well, so. I mean, the constitution is just a piece of paper anyway. Yeah, right? which government is that fluid? <laughs> yeah, he was right, too. Yeah, I mean, that's what they treat it as anyway. Uh, he's at least accurately portraying how the government thinks of it here. But in New Zealand, the cost of living is really high, right? Because everything has to be imported like yeah. it's on an island. Well, I was they interested got, about they mutton. <laughs> yeah, they've got great grass-fed meat, but other than that, you kind of have to import everything, right? Yeah, as I understood it, New Zealand is inc- is incredibly inexpensive. Now, I understand, is I guess... inexpensive? Or, I mean, expensive. Expensive, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's very expensive to live there. By... Manufacturing, they can't have much of that, so no, everything right. has to be brought in in that way. Yeah, so I guess... I mean, I suppose that comes into the question then, you know, what is personal freedom? How do you define that? Because certainly, like, the expense of living being that high. But but everything has to be brought here in the United States, too. What do we manufacture here in the United States? Almost nothing anymore. Cars, and those are expensive. Oh, I agree that the United States is an expensive place to live. Uh, it, it's not it's not cheap, you know, yeah. and you can just cross a border and you can find out just how cheap you can really live. And it's true. Yep. It's sort of cheaper in Mexico. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Interesting uh, list, though. I think it's uh, fascinating to look at this. Sure. Going on with the 11 countries with the most uh, personal freedom. Number four, Japan. One of the only non-collectivist nations in Asia, Japan ranks solidly in every single category. There are two major caveats concerning personal freedom in Japan. Freedom of assembly, which um, has some restrictions in certain groups, and political control in the media, which ranks um, lower than any other of the highest freedom nations. To make up for it, Japan has a surprisingly low crime rate, though torture is still an acceptable form of punishment in some cases. Its statistics knock the other top nations out of the park. Even burglary, which uh, which most top nations scored at a zero of possible 10 points, in received an 8.8 in Japan. Albeit stable in everything, it does not surpass the top three on the list. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if, if the personal freedom exists there because of just how damned polite they are and they really are i mean i i've i used to go there often and it it's just incredible how kind i mean you that's kind of a stereotype too it's a bit of a stereotype but it's also it's his stereotype but he yeah, had that experience you know? yeah but i mean it's very much i think kind of culturally enforced you know we talk about cultural enforcement but at the same time a lot of their a lot of their culture that they've had for thousands of years like shinto uh has really you know really does allow for a lot of open things i mean women have been the charge of the household there for thousands of years you know i mean this is not you know a lot of these western ideas that we have just don't play ball over there and so i can see that yeah i i could see it as a, as a personally free place though it's ironic it does have a token emperor well i think that you know that sells postcards yeah um, that is really what it does <laughs> <laughs> i think it's interesting when countries that have sort of evolved up a different tr- leg of the tree you know or um 
that we get an opportunity to look at that because yeah. sort of socially. Japan doesn't have much to do with the United States. No, right. And, um, you know, it's very interesting. Yeah, uh, I agree. Actually, yeah. well, go go ahead. Oh, let's, let's, I can read number five here for you. Norway. Norway scores the second highest out of all the nations in the category of freedom of relationships as well as freedom of expression. They score well across all social groups, which is only to be expected from a Nordic uh, nation. Similar to Iceland, Norway is brought down by its crime level, except that they do better, a better job of reporting their statistics. Similar to Iceland, the rate of sexual violence in this country is exceptionally high compared to other high freedom nations. Even with this, most Norway's other crime rates are some of the lowest in the world, allowing it to rank solidly at number five. They keep on mentioning the sexual crime thing. It's very interesting. Hmm. Maybe well, that's, that's an aspect of personal freedom. Sure is. <laughs> Absolutely is. Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm Dr. Lorraine Hurley, and for over a decade, I've helped people maintain optimal health. I'd like to tell you about my choice of a powerful anti-aging antioxidant formula that also helps reduce damage caused by radiation. Z-Radical contains fucoidin, and there are over 700 studies showing how powerful it is. Z-Radical is a totally organic pure extract and it is available by calling 855-315-8326. Again, it's 855-315-8326 or visit my website, drhurley.net. Iodine is necessary, but Z-Radical is so much more. Hi, I'm Dr. Lorraine Hurley here to tell you about an amazing pain relief formula. Unlike Tylenol, Advil, or Ibuprofen, Lavinity Pain Relief Formula is completely non-toxic and actually stimulates healing. Lavinity Pain Relief comes in a gel or capsule, and in my years of helping people, I've never seen anything like it. After rubbing a small amount on an aching muscle or a sore joint, many people report the pain is gone within a minute. Call 855-315-8326. That's 855-315-8326. Or visit drhurley.net for more information. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of five. $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. Yeah! This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. 
You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. We've been going through this list of countries with the most personal freedom, and I find it fascinating um, because we've been, you know, here in the United States, we've been told all our lives, this is the freest country on earth. And, you know, I'm not so sure it is because it doesn't rank the highest in really any of these lists. But you can call in and give your opinion at 855-450-FREE. This is Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. It's a live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. And Brian, tell us about ModUp. Yeah, ModUp.net. That's M-O-D-U-P dot net. And look, if you need some focus, if you're feeling fatigued, looking to get that extra edge, something you can look into is Modafinil from modup.net. Now, Modafinil, these are tablets. Study shows one in five students use this cognitive enhancer uh, that offers multiple benefits. Businessmen use it. Uh, they are also the, uh, they're actually a sponsor, the number one sponsor for Reddit's third party. Now, I got to, how do I pronounce this? No otropic. No otropic. Okay, they're no otropic testing project. And a no otropic is, you know, essentially a, a brain enhancement. Yeah. Uh, you know, business. And so, it really stands to reason over time that, uh, you know, we're going to come up with, if you find up drugs that make other th- things function better, then you're going to find drugs that make the brain function better. Sure. And there's no doubt that some of them are out there. And the claim is that modup.net is among the best of them. Yeah, they're offering some or of the best. Modafinil I mean, is among the best of them. Right. And, you know, I mean, neuroscience, it's really kind of the final frontier. I mean, I think maybe even more so than space. I mean, so. of course, this is this would be like on a short term basis. But like, right. I mean, who doesn't drink a cup of coffee or whatever if you're having a night where you didn't get as much sleep and you need to get something done or whatever? One, it's, it's I think it's inarguable that coffee is a nootropic. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you, on, it's on Reddit's um, uh, project wiki. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's in by by all accounts, it's a pretty bad one. Um, it's you know that uh, <laughs> caffeine is, is kind of this sort of, sort of raw edged um, uh, booster. Well, you're a little biased. You react really strongly to it. I but do. For some people, um, you know, caffeine can be helpful, but it's not the only thing out there, right? No. Uh, yeah. So if you want to try something else, you check out Modafinil. Look into it for yourself. Look into your local laws, prescription uh, regulations, because Moda- you know, Free Talk Live, we're a worldwide show, and Modafinil is a worldwide business that really does offer world class customer service so use the code ftl when you go to modup.net you'll get uh 10 free tablets if you use that code again the code is ftl and if you use bitcoin you'll get 33 percent off yes they love the bitcoin community at modup.net so check them out use that code ftl excellent let's go on with our list of uh, freest countries here from a social ranking number six you know, I probably should be doing this like Casey Kasem and counting up instead of counting down. But uh, we started at number one. And that's what we'll do. We're going down from to number six here. Ireland. Tying with Iceland. Ireland is a nation bustling with personal freedoms. They get poor marks for banning homosexual couples from adopting. But in all other respects, Ireland ranks well in freedom of relationships. Yeah. And, you know, it's been talked about a lot recently in terms of a f- place to start a business because it's kind of like the business taxes are really low or something like that right oh for ireland you yeah mean? in yeah. ireland yeah i'm kind of shocked by yes. this though because i mean this is a country that's sort of in a quasi civil war you know with northern ireland and this and it's completely a religious issue well i mean some people could say the british government's getting involved fine but by and large it's a religious issue so I'm legally sort of, they have freedom of religion there though yeah, I don't. You know, I knew a guy who was. It's at, an issue of control. Sure, it's an issue of control. But I think, I think socially. Now, granted, this is anecdotal, but I knew a guy who was actually part of a very famous uh, uh, group over there in, in Ireland, and he had said that he was when he came to America. He, I was having lunch with him. He said he was absolutely shocked that people here, one person could be a Catholic, the person next door can be an atheist, and nobody thought two two bits of it. 
Like that was his words. He couldn't, he was amazed at how well people got along here. And so I'm, I'm a little stunned by this. Okay. I, I have to say just based on my own anecdotal evidence. Well, Ireland shows up on the economic freedom charts too, in the top 10. Sure. So I, I love it when a nation shows up on both. It yeah. kind of gives me this, <laughs> uh, you know, Hmm, makes me wonder about it. But like I said, I don't, know where New Hampshire ranks among these places that as far as the social and uh, political and, and economic freedoms. And yeah, I think that'd be great to get a, you know, provincial uh, province, you know, provincial study along with a state study, not just national. And I'm I'm convinced this is just me looking at these charts for years, um, you know, reading a bit on them here and there. I can't say I've poured over them like maybe some academics have. But I just I'm of the impression that New Hampshire ranks certainly in the top ten freest places yeah. um, in in America because it's the freest state as ranked by the Mercatus Center. Uh, three out of the five times that they've done the rating, and I hear that we're going to be number one again on the sixth one. There certainly are some states that have been kind of neck and neck, but New Hampshire, um, you know, has been number one the most times. So anyway, going on with Ireland, their score for freedom of expression also ranked very highly. So I guess it's like freedom of speech and that kind of thing. When it comes to crime, data was unavailable for a lot of different segments. Trafficking, assault, uh, burglary, just to name a few. So it's poor rank and torture managed to bring it down substantially. That means that torture is not completely outlawed. As well as its inclination for organized crime, if not for uh, this missing data. Ireland may rank much higher though it's still probably not enough to rank uh, the other countries so that's uh that's fascinating I yeah think. i'm really interested by i'm I'm really intrigued by that because you know also with ireland you have uh there's I, I can't think of the name of them off the top of my head but there's very famous uh where they will have children from ireland come to the u.s and stay with you know u.s families exchange students yeah, not exchange okay. because this is really to just kind of get them away from the nonsense that's happening in that country as far as like with the IRA, uh, et cetera. But isn't that stuff over? No, well, I mean, this was just a few years ago. I, huh. I can't believe, I'm, you know, I'm talking, the time frame I'm talking about where I was aware of these things would be 07 to 09. Okay. And it doesn't seem like that long ago that things could have blown over, but maybe. Well, we know what, uh, we, we know that they've telegraphed what number seven is, but let's go to Carl in New Jersey. Carl, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, um, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Stephanie. Ryan Mark. Um, my question is to you, and I don't understand it. What's the difference if a white cop shoots a black kid or a black kid shoots a white kid or a black cop shoots a black kid or a white cop shoots a white kid? Why is it any different? I don't understand that. It shouldn't be that way. Yeah, I, I think mean, that... If, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would say that I would I would love there to be no difference, and I would like to live in a right. sort of a post racial world where I don't have to apologize, and I don't apologize for um, you know the behavior of other people. But I think that right. there's you know there's this history, and the history matters um, to especially right. to other folks. And uh, you know, do I think that there are racist cops? I do. Do I know what happened in this circumstance? I don't um, with the Ferguson don't situation. Either. And the problem is, is and what I've been saying all along is, is what we need is we need video and audio from the situation. Why in this day and right. age do police not have audio and video equipment on them? You know, just a little little camera system that's right on them that uh, broadcasts directly to the Internet so we can see this stuff. I don't want it to just go back to the station house. Mm. I want I, I mean, if these people are my employees then what they do is my business. And so right. let's let's have that information. Then we wouldn't have Ferguson on yeah, fire right now. If, I think if, if there, it wasn't legit. Right. right. If there is an objective record like, you know, a uh, video that was under the control or where it could be viewed by people uh, on the policeman or wherever, then, yeah, I don't at that right. point, nothing does matter because you have an objective record to see what the hell just happened. We had a cop call in last night, Carl, who said he'd love to have uh, he, he, he loves his camera because it keeps him safe from people making claims about what he's done. And I believed him. And um, I heard him. You heard him? Yeah. And if he would. Yeah, I was listening. Yep. And if we just had that stuff up on the Internet, he's like, he didn't have a problem with it being up on the Internet. He doesn't have a problem with it because right. you know, a good cop wouldn't. And that's right. what I'm looking for. Right. Or we need to cops out. Indeed. Carl, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Thanks. 
855-450 free free talk live your opinions are welcome it's 855-450-3733 This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. It's Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. 
855-450 free or lrn.fm on Skype. I am heading, it's very soon now, I think it's, oh man, next week, heading to the Marijuana Investment Conference in Houston. It's, really? Yep, September the 8th. It's uh, on a Monday. So are you going to be here for the next show or do we need to talk about that off the air? I, yeah, <laughs> are you going to miss I, the Sunday? I am going to miss the Sunday show. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know, Mark. The, yeah, the, <laughs> September the, the What a 7th. great partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrible about telling you guys this kind of stuff. <laughs> but it sounds like an interesting conference. It must have been the marijuana. Yeah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I will be there mingling and uh, trying to figure out what the good investments are for the bad yeah, ones. Yeah, I was going to say I'd be more, invest- more interested in investing in it than smoking it. <laughs> well, it seems to me that this is a brand new, wide open field. And yeah. usually those are the ones where people get rich. Oh, yes. Um, Pretty quick. And Jeff Berwick's been talking about that a lot. I, Is he going to be there? I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, you know, but I, who's going to be there besides you? <laughs> He's not on the speakers list that I okay. saw. But um, I think it's going to be fascinating. So if you are interested in joining me, go to Amera, Amera, Marijuana Investment Conferences. <laughs> you have to com. spell it with the P. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana Investment Conferences. Com. You can use coupon code FTL. Um, if I get 10 people to uh, to use that code, it actually pays my way, and I'd really appreciate that. So anyway, MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com, and I'll have some free FTL stuff to give away. I know that some folks have uh, already signed up to come with me. It's at the Weston Houston Memorial City on September the 8th, bright and early, MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com, coupon code FTL. Let's go to Keith. Calling in from on the road. Keith, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, uh, you were talking before about post-racial society. I forget which one of you was mentioning that before the commercial break. It was me. But, um, okay, yeah. The uh, Booker T. Washington said it best when he said that there, so long as there is money or power to be gained from people believing that there's racism, racism will not go away. But people have to realize that the people telling them who's racist and who isn't are the same people who derive power from, uh, you know, from racism. You look at uh, what's Al Sharpton. Well, let's remove Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson from. Let's let's remove those two from the equation because I think that we're very clear that those guys make some money from, uh, you know, whipping whipping out the race card. <laughs> but they're not what's going on in, in uh, Ferguson. Al Sharpton's in Staten Island right now marching about the guy who got choked to death. Um, you know, reasonably, in my opinion, mar- marching um, about the guy who got choked to death, death over selling cigarettes. Yeah, I know. That was, yeah, that was insane. When I, when I heard about, when I heard the whole story on that, that was quite so insane. What, what's difficult is, is. not necessarily racism, but the thing is, it's not so much a matter of. It's not so much a matter of reality is reality, it's perception is reality. Right, and that's I mean, part of what I'm talking about here is a lot of money and gets a lot of power from you know, from selling the perception, like Trayvon Martin. But look Trayvon at this Martin per- was shot. But look at the situation, Keith. Here, the perception is is that Al Sharpton is somehow involved in what's going on in Ferguson when he's not. This is an organic grassroots protest to what people believe is racist racial policy in a place in Missouri. I think Jesse Jackson showed up, but he showed up like three days late, and they don't seem to have any interest in doing anything with the guy. They didn't have any. They don't have much interest in doing anything with. Uh... Al Sharpton either, but the problem is, though, when you get tased at stories like this, it gets shoved right up in your face like a like a uh, like a uh, rotten jock strap, you know. And everybody has to, everybody has to sit and sniff it. Well, you know, people don't yeah, have the yeah. people don't have the mental wherewithal to realize this is a you know. First of all, it's a rare thing that actually happens. It's what a uh, a total of about 94 of them, coast to coast. What is 94 of what? Years, 94 of what? 94 instances where unarmed, unarmed, young unarmed black men were shot by police. And, Who, whose statistic is that? I mean, because the police departments don't really like to keep records when they shoot people. It's you very know. difficult just to find police shooting records. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that what, I don't know, 94 in what period of time, um, you know, yeah, I mean, I agree with the caller to a certain extent that, like, it's kind of racism is incentivized to continue, or at least the belief that there's racism 
uh, because people profit from I it. I agree with that. Uh, yeah, I, I totally yeah, see his but point I on that. Those but do you numbers. think? But do you think that there are like? I mean, do you acknowledge that sometimes black people might get treated differently than white people? I mean, like we've had a lot of black people call the show and say, "Yeah, of course I get treated differently." And you kind of get used to it yeah, after a while. Well, but I remember, I re- well, I was I was out one time with my with my supervisor from work, and you know we're we're driving around. He, he was driving. He was driving. I was riding a shotgun, and next thing you know, we get pulled over. And I was watching while he was driving. He didn't do anything wrong. It was a DWB. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the fact is, you know, there's, I'll, you know, I also live in kind of a, you know, I live in Green Bay, which is kind of a hick little town, you know. And that doesn't make it okay. Yeah, I think that's the point, though. Here is this I look. Know it doesn't make it okay. If but there are, really, um, if there are ninety-five, out, wait a second, should... Keith. If there are ninety-five shootings, let's okay. take that number: ninety-five shootings of unarmed black men um, in America in the last year. I don't know what the period of time is. Um, and then it was compare five that. Years. It was five years. And then compare yeah. that to, um, and, and I don't know where these statistics are from. I was just reading an article today about how there are no statistics on police shootings because, well, frankly, the federal, state, and local governments don't want you to know that information. But nonetheless, if that number of unarmed white men um, shot is uh, is not five times higher because blacks are less than 20% of the population, then you have a statistical yep. problem with the uh, with who's getting shot. And if women are of uh, the the races and uh, aren't on the same level then you have a gender problem and so i I think that it's well i think these are things that need to be looked at yeah in culture in general all around the world there is an us against them narrative being taught to everybody whatever the group happens to be that's what really has to end and it doesn't matter black white whatever because it gets if it's not black or white it's america versus mexico or it's america sure. versus isis or whatever there's just this constantly look there's always bad people out to get you and until that stops then they're just going to pick something else racism sexism take your pick but nobody wants to stop that because i think everybody takes their comfort of we're us and they're them and they wrap it around themselves like a blanket of sickness, you know, and it's really crazy. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry to keep you, Keith. Thanks for the call. 855-450-3733. You know, even if you... The aliens got him. If you got, Just like Michael Brown. If you got rid of racism tomorrow, I think it would begin the next day. Because... Yeah, I agree with you. It's, it's just, it's that difficult to deal with, and... You know, I don't think it's difficult to deal with. I think it's taught from so early that it's just treated as so normal you don't even think about it. And that's But yeah. there's also cultural roles, right? Like so um like look, but one even those are taught. One can't deny that uh, that black people are arrested more often, like significantly more often than white people or people of other ethnicities. Sure. Specifically and young black men. Specifically young black men. Yeah. Now, is there a uh, are they targeted? I, bu- I suspect they are. Yeah. But at the same time, I also suspect that there's a culture of um, criminality because, you know, they feel excluded. And those that feel excluded aren't going to have a problem with acting like they're not on the inside, right? You know, they're they're going to lash yeah. out. All right. But people, people will do anything they can to avoid looking at who they are. Sure. To avoid looking at their own problems yep. and traumas. They'll do whatever they can. And if that means I get to point at this group that looks different from me, that's what they're going to do. And they're always, and I think everybody's been doing this for so long that they're just taught this, like I said, this us against them narrative that says it's not your fault, it's their fault. And it's so funny because a lot of these people, a lot of, honestly, a lot of the white people or the cops or whatever are going around saying you know to the black people well if they would just who is it kevin sorbo came out and said this about ferguson where he said look you know they they, they have this entitlement mentality you know that the, the black people do and it, I don't... brian i totally agree with you that people are taught this us versus them narrative and actually that's the mentality that perpetuates war and sure. enables the state to continue because the state just feeds off of that, you know, divide and conquer, right? Pit the men against the women and the blacks against the whites and everything else, gays against the straights. And yeah. that's how they prosper because everybody wants to use the state to do 
their own agenda. Yeah, and so you see, I mean, like even Kevin Sorbo was saying, it's not my fault, it's their fault. And yet he's saying that they're the ones that are saying it's not their fault, it's your fault. Yeah. Everybody's just blaming just everybody else pointing instead finger of working circle. on their own damn selves. Yes. Pretty I, ridiculous. I don't know how to work on myself. I don't know what I've got to do. Would That's really like the problem. Would you like some tips? Sure. <laughs> You could give me some tips, too. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE on Free Talk Live. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, August 24th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.44 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,281 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $503. Antiwar.com reports the U.S. is moving close to direct military intervention in Syria once again, but this time focusing on ISIS, not the Assad government. Having long cynically armed the Syrian rebels against Assad, with a lot of those arms going to ISIS, they've changed their allies of convenience. Now, reports have the U.S. government providing targeting intelligence to the Assad government against ISIS, in particular giving them intel on the location of ISIS leaders. The reports say the U.S. is funneling the intelligence to Syria, still officially an enemy, by the way, of Germany's BND. The changing narrative is likely to go public eventually as well, however, with Syria hoping for a long-term rapprochement. The great thing, from the Syrian perspective, is that they don't actually have to change their behavior, and they can go from a nation the U.S. is angrily condemning for its brutality to a U.S. partner in the war against the newest enemy in the newest U.S. adventure. With talks of U.S. military intervention in Syria growing, the U.S. would no doubt prefer to have Assad on board since they can claim to be operating at the request of an ally, even if it's an enemy-turned-ally for the sake of war. The wild card in all of this is Israel, which has for a while been touting ISIS as preferable to Assad on the notion that Assad, as a Shiite, is closer to Iran than ISIS would be. U.S. officials are also touting the Assad military's airstrikes having killed Abu Mosa, an ISIS press official. It wasn't so long ago the U.S. was griping about every Syrian airstrike regardless of the target. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Reuters reports President Barack Obama has ordered a review of the distribution of military hardware to state and local police out of concern at how such equipment has been used during racial unrest in Ferguson, Missouri. A senior Obama administration official said on Saturday that the president ordered the examination of federal programs and funding that enable state and local law enforcement to purchase such equipment. Images of police wielding military-style guns and armor have shocked many Americans following clashes that were triggered by the fatal shooting of Michael Brown two weeks ago. Obama wants to know whether the programs, which were expanded after September 11, 2001, are appropriate and whether state and local law enforcement are given proper training. The review will be led by White House staff, including Domestic Policy Council, the National Security Council, the Office of Management and Budget, and relevant U.S. agencies, including the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, Justice and Treasury, and conducted in coordination with Congress. Obama signaled he would review the programs at a White House news conference on Monday when he said he wanted to make sure police were purchasing equipment they actually needed because there is a big difference between our military and our local law enforcement, and we don't want those lines blurred. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Politico reports a Florida judge ruled Friday that the state's reconfigured congressional map will take effect for the 2016 elections. Leon County Circuit Judge Terry Lewis, who ruled in July that the state's map was unconstitutional and ordered the legislature to fix two districts in particular, ruled Friday that Republicans' tweaks to the maps were enough to comply with Florida's Fair District Amendment, which prohibits the legislature from taking politics into consideration when drawing the congressional districts. Lewis also said that the 2014 elections would carry on under the maps he previously threw out. He said in his decision, my duty is not to select the best plan, but rather to decide whether the one adopted by the legislature is valid. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Federal authorities are currently on high alert in Washington, D.C., following reports that hundreds of crazed sociopaths infiltrated the congressional chambers this morning. Mary Canley, a Capitol employee who managed to escape the House chambers, described the troubling scene to reporters. I saw all of them, about four to 500 completely deranged people, just rambling on about guns, the, the military, and money. Investigators say the lunatics, many of whom are believed to suffer from severe personality disorders, have locked themselves in the chambers for hours now, with no clear purpose or reasoning. I looked at one of them right in the eyes, and it was like he was empty on the inside, devoid of any emotion or feeling. It was horrifying. It's only a matter of time before they do something that really hurts someone. We believe these men to be manipulative and extremely dangerous. Luckily, they are also very disorganized, and there is a chance they may never be able to ever take any action at all. For more on this developing story, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Final hour. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. And Free Talk Live is about your calls. So give us a call. Talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. You can listen to Free Talk Live besides what... You, Brian, you, look, you did the number. How many radio stations? 166. Are we on? We're on 166 stations. How many on Sunday? Uh, there's over 40. Over 40. And so, besides our over 40 great radio stations that are listening right now, 
uh, there's live streams. You can listen on the internet, uh, the radio. We have podcast, satellite, the free to air satellite. There's the webcam at cam.freetalklive.com. We have listen lines. If you go to listen.freetalklive.com, you can find out all the different ways you can listen to Free Talk Live because not every radio station carries every hour of Free Talk Live. We understand. But if you want to hear more, you can go to listen.freetalklive.com. We're talking about, well, we've been talking about a couple of things here tonight, both the list of the 11 countries who are most socially free, and we've also been talking about the Ferguson thing, because I think that America is talking about what's going on in Ferguson. There's a lot of different touch points there, whether it's uh, the militarization of the police, uh, racial disparities um, in the United States, uh, crime just a variety of things. Let's go to Isabella calling in from North Dakota. Isabella, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, thanks you guys for taking my call this evening. Greetings from the Bakken in North Dakota, the best place in, I think, in the country to be right now. The Bakken? Uh, yes, I'm in Watford City, North Dakota. And, and it's called the Bakken? It's the oil boom of North Dakota. Oil boom is what the, okay. Yeah, I, I know that part. I just I don't know what this this word is that you've used. The, the whole area is called the Bakken. Okay. And uh, I've actually I've been here for five years. I actually moved here because of what was happening to the country and the economy. And I was really encouraged when I heard you guys talking earlier that you went from an internet blog uh, radio show to the actual radio station itself. I started my own blog talk radio show five years ago trying to do my part to get people to wake up and understand really the purposeful dismantling of the country and where the country is today. You know, I know that part of the biggest, uh, the the reason so much rage is going on with what is happening uh, with, with this shooting is that the country as itself is so at a boiling point because we've been pushed so far and economically, you know, internationally, where we are, we have an administration that has purposely come in to really conquer and divide, and to we're now more racially divided than we ever have been, and uh, it's just another symptom of really the dangerous point that we're at. We're at in this country. Well, um, I I hope that we can somehow heal these uh, these wounds. What do you think? One need. What what do you think we need to do, Isabella? We first of all have to understand that we, we don't have leadership, we don't have an administration. The leadership and administration that is in place has purposely come in to divide and put this country at a catastrophic point where where we are at. I mean, we have no respect in the international world. We have no foreign policy. Do you we think we no had respect in the international world when George Bush was in office? Whether or not we believed in going to Iraq, we went there because of weapons of mass destruction. I didn't go Both to Iraq. Parties agree. I didn't go. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it's what we did then. Where we are today is the fact that ISIS and Al Qaeda, these are a terror organization that you cannot, you you cannot come to terms with. You cannot negotiate. So well, when you look at I don't know that I agree with that statement. Um, you can come to terms with it. The reason that those terrorist organizations, Al Qaeda, the leader of which was Osama bin Laden for um, you know some time, the, you know the nominal leader, and Osama bin Laden said that uh, we'll get them involved in the Middle East in a bunch of uh, you know little crappy wars and kill them with a with a thousand cuts. And so far, that plan's coming to fruition. Yeah, the guy's dead, but it doesn't mean the plan's not working. The plan's working awesomely. Um, and then ISIS. This uh, sort of upstart, uh, you know, I mean, what what would one expect when one creates a vacuum of leadership um, that, you know, something's going to try to fill it? It's the, the United States' line, involvement. Well, here, the bottom line is, you know, Muslims and Islamification in their Koran, it is a honor to kill a Christian. I don't think that's in the Koran. I don't think that's in the Koran. Yes, yes, it is. Have you read it? Uh, well, actually, uh, well, I have, um, and I'm actually, I when I was in the Middle East, I was Jewish, uh, and there was no 
it was incredibly rare, if ever, that I ran into somebody that even cared that I was Jewish uh, or even if I was Christian, because later on, I, in, within, when I was in the army, I converted into Christianity. Their only concern was the flag on my shoulder. They, they didn't care if I had a huge star of David on my chest. Uh, actually, in, in the Quran, we're called the people of the book right. if you are Christian or Jewish, and you are to be treated well. Now, yes, the there Quran's some- mainly about th- there being one God as opposed to three. Yes. Let me ask you guys something. Let me ask you guys something. When we had troops in Iraq, they were held at bay. Now, this country was never a country, and they don't know the Western way of thinking, and they do not search to be who we are, but we are facing an enemy in a terror group that, when left unchecked, they are coming and they are building, and ISIS, the problem with ISIS is they are the most financially backed, and they are so rogue and dangerous that even Al-Qaeda said that they didn't want to have a, a bad reputation based on what ISIS is doing. Okay, I mean, but who started it? Clear. Who who started it? Are they coming here because we're Christian and Jews, or are they coming here because of the fact that, that we got involved in things that weren't, our, that weren't the United States' business? Well, first of all, this war has been going on for thousands and thousands and thousands. I totally Which agree war? with you. Which war are we referring yeah. to? We've got the the war against the, I mean, against the, it's not a religion that they are, but their goal is to take over the world. I don't, there are some of, some people, some Muslims want to set up a caliphate that uh, expands the globe. There's no doubt about it. But Christians, there's some Christians that want to see everybody converted too. Well, it gets worse than that because you have the Dome of the Rock. Okay, and you have a lot of Christians and, and Jews as well, honestly, that want that want to build a third temple, like is prophesied in the Book of Ezekiel, and this temple has to get but that's built. That's not what this war is no, about. No, well, I, I think it's part of the attitude, though, because there you we have to build, or you know, Christians and Jews have to build this third temple, and so essentially there is. You know, Muslims walk around with this constant threat that one of their holy sites, that being the Dome of the Rock, is going to have to get taken out. Okay, and actually in the 90s, a Christian gentleman tried. No, I I couldn't call him a gentleman. He actually went for a suicide run on the Dome of the Rock so that he could bring Christ here faster. You have an entire religion of people that are just, that are literally at threatened. It's so funny because so many people say that, oh, you know, the the Muslims are threatening us. No, the very, the the, the Holy Bible itself threatens Muslims' very existence by the fact that the Third Temple has to get built on top of their holy site. Babies okay, and, but and that doesn't women, answer my, my critique. I haven't yeah. seen one picture of that that's accurate at this point. The, the, the beheading baby thing may be um, just, you know, bull crap. Right. So so your, your idea no. that, that it's a no. war that's been going on for thousands of years, I agree that it is, it is a, uh, a powder keg that's been building for thousands of years. What does that have anything to do with the United States? It has nothing to do with the United States. We've been, we've been you know, we have been the great protector. We have been in... You know, I didn't sign up for that. In, a, protecting I, who from what? Protecting the um, sheiks and Arab kings from their own people, and that's why um, the, the United States is the target. Look, if the, you know, if there's somebody who's protecting this, your king, and you want to set up a different government, then you have to take out the person who's doing the protecting. The United States has been upholding dictators in Yemen, kings in Saudi Arabia, and many of these other leaders. Look, I understand we may want stability in the area, but it's not our business. This is a country that fought and fought and killed redcoats over a king ruling this nation. Do you think that's fair? What I'm saying is where we're at today, right? There's nothing we can do about the past. We, you know, I'm not in Iraq. I want to get out of Iraq. Important. And I don't appreciate people spending my tax money on Iraq. Here, here. Well, I, I, the other way you can look at it is, you know, had we never gone to war and had we built our strong borders and just been... I don't want borders. That, I want to welcome people to this country. Immigrants make this place great. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. 
Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. You know, we are doing a radio show. We didn't invade Iraq, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about that in just one second. I think it's really important because this is a, I mean, there, there seem to be sort of like two positions out there. I would posit there's a third. Um, but first I want to tell you about a guy who's in jail for allegedly running a message board. Actually, he's not in jail. He's out on bond right now. A really? million dollars bond. Really? Yeah. Uh, you can go see the story at Drew's defense.org there's no apostrophe on an internet website addresses so just drews defense.org and go check out the story this is the guy who ran the message forum for the silk road and i think it's fascinating allegedly ran the uh, message board for uh, silk road but um we the last caller we talked to, to isabella and 
I can understand why people feel like we have to do something, um, you know, that's going on in the Middle East or whatever. But if this country left what was going, because this country has been involved in the Middle East since the overthrow, the the installing of the Shah in Iran. This is the 1930s or 1940s? 40s. Um, 50s, actually. 50s. You know, this is the idea that somehow, um, you know, on 9-11, the United States just out of the blue got bombed by 11 people who are just just hate America because of Coca-Cola, Britney Spears and our freedoms is absolutely nonsense. It's nonsense. The fact is, these people want to have uh, autonomy. They want to they want their own government. Do they want a government that I want to see? Probably not. But this isn't a government I want to see either. Sure. So I think that the best solution is get every single U.S. service person that is on foreign soil back on the United States, get rid of the ones we don't need, put them back on the society where they're working, stop these wars that create um, you know, amputees in, in, in mind and, and, and body, and uh, you know, let's try some peace for a while. Absolutely, because it's mind-boggling that ru- the USSR— could never handle the Middle East. The Romans could never the handle British. the Middle East. The British certainly couldn't handle, you know, the largest empire in history could not handle the Middle East. Uh, what, who do we, th- you know, who does the United States think it is? And though, and, and supposedly the U.S. is the nice guys, and what, that's, that's the way that it's going to get solved? No. <laughs> it, it, it's better to just, like you said, leave it alone. Pull There's going to be problems. Be. No doubt about it. There's going to yeah. be problems over there. They have to come to their um, equilibrium. Let you them know? figure it out. They've been, you know, they've been ruled by so many empires over so many centuries. Let them figure it out on their own for right. once, just for once. Let them have their own way. Stop supporting dictators and kings. It's ridiculous. Um, about uh, controlling the borders. You don't have to if you don't if you don't have to worry about terrorists sneaking across the border. What do you have to control the borders for? Oh my God! Some people might come here and work hard to uh, create a better life for themselves. Cut. We don't have a immigration problem in this country. We've got a welfare problem. If you put a bowl of cat food out, don't get upset that cats come to your that are cats are at your door every morning. You're insane. If yeah. you've got a problem with people coming here to suck off the welfare teat. Then get upset at the teeth, not the people that do it. Yeah. And don't talk about diseases either. I mean, people get all kinds of paranoid about, oh, the immigrants are bringing in um, extreme drug-resistant tuberculosis. Remember that a couple of years yeah. ago? It was really big. People kind of died down talking about that. because it was bullcrap. Yeah, it was. I mean, there's there's a plenty of disease in the U.S. Are we going to yeah. go Look around up screening CMV. everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Look up CMV. See how good you feel about yourself. <laughs> but, I mean, are we going to go around swabbing everyone's throats and testing them for different diseases within the U.S.? Like, Only how in far Pennsylvania. does this go? Yeah. Are we going to quarantine people if they have a fever like they do in some airports in Japan? Let's go to Tommy in Glasgow. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. Oop, let's try this again. Um, I'm uh, doing something Skypes. wrong. Yeah, try hitting that pause. Okay, well, let's try Nathan. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, hello? Hey, what's on your mind? Well, it's funny. Brian was mentioning the British. Uh, I was trying to find a link to that. There was an incident where some militants kidnapped a provincial governor in Egypt, I think it was, and demanded the queen convert to Islam. So it has been going on for a long time. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> and she didn't? I'll- uh, well, no, apparently she didn't. That would that would be my guess. You know, it's an incredible irony because people talk about, you know, Islam not not providing freedom, et cetera, et cetera. And while certainly I would definitely be of the case that, you know, religions don't really bring freedom, but a lot of the people that say that are Protestants. And yet Protestantism would not exist if it weren't for Martin Luther. And Martin Luther would have never succeeded in what he was doing if the Catholic Church wasn't so busy fighting Muslims. Uh, it, it's it's hilarious because Protestantism really ex- only exists, I think, historically, at least as we understand it, because of Islam thwarting the Catholic Church. Well, I, that's how historically how it worked, but I think this is kind of one of those situations where just because one guy was involved, just because Martin Luther might not have gotten his message um, across at that time, this was a thing that was coming, and the, sure. cha- the changes in the church were coming. Sure, but what allowed it to happen so fast and grow was certainly the fact that the Catholic Church had bigger fish to fry. Nathan? Uh, Well, that's interesting. I hadn't actually heard that before. I'll have to think about that. Um, So I was curious about—I wanted to agree with Stephanie on this whole first thing. 
it's really seems like it's it's gone its course. It's like it's uh, I guess I, I just don't feel that interested in it. And I wanted to I wanted to tell you why why that's the case. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. So these things have happened before. I mean, Rodney King and, uh, you know, the incidents like that. And like Mark was saying at the beginning of the segment, I feel that it's just we're always given two sides to it, you know, and then they argue about these two sides on TV. Well, the government should do this. Well, no, the government should do that. And it I just don't really see like uh, any liberty kind of viewpoint being represented there. Like, you know, when I saw some of these images, I thought, well, instead of smashing windows, why don't they just engage in tax resistance or, you know, what taxes they, uh... are they paying? Uh, well, I don't know, but I mean, they can they can peacefully non cooperate is what I was trying to get at, um, as opposed to just sort of, well, we accept this government, but we're going to protest and smash things. But we still have to have government to build the roads, but we're going to get angry and smash things. And it it just seems like it seems to me like the, the thing the choices people are making are not going to result in any kind of resolution. I I would agree yeah, with you. I think I that the liberty that oriented um, you know, solution to racial problems is probably a long path and there's no quick fix um, that you essentially have to stop uh, you know, treating people badly and coddling them um, and treat them like adults and then if everybody, you know, the more people that treat other people like adults, the more people that will continue to treat other like adults and then we'll finally have a world of people that are just treating each other's like humans instead of like some racial group. But I I, I don't it's an idea that is uh, really foreign to many. Nathan, well, I... certainly, because, like you said, there's not a lot of uh, African Americans in the, the Free State Project, and uh, I think I mm. think Derek J was just opining, "Well, why aren't they interested in moving to New Hampshire on his show?" So, I don't really know the answer to that, but uh, I can't help but think that if these ideas about, a, like, a, you know, like for example, accountability, if, like if those were more prominent. It seems like that would give a better solution than some kind of, you know, national initiative or whatever. Thanks yeah. for the call, Nathan. I'm with him about just reach out to your friends, you know, yeah. try to practice these things in your own life, model the behavior for others, and it'll come along eventually. Uh, what I've heard from black callers about the Free State Project is oftentimes they just don't feel welcome. They're scared. And... I don't blame them. It's a bunch of white people, honestly. Uh, 855-450-FREE, free, free Talk Live. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-600-4264. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. According to sources, all 6.5 million residents of Indiana spontaneously formed thousands of perfectly uniform rows throughout the state Monday morning and established a collective consciousness. Saying, we are Indiana, the new hive mind talked and moved in unison with citizens working together to build a massive geometric superstructure in downtown Indianapolis where they would gather to sleep, breed, and feed. The collective state went on to report that soon Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Kentucky, and Canada would all become Indiana. Persons close to Phoenix area friends Jake Welter and Mike Seflin confirmed Friday that the two men are absolutely incapable of greeting each other like normal human beings. Beep, 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 beep. Sources say the two full-grown men simply cannot walk into a room and shake each other's hands, relying instead on elaborate dances, forced pop culture references, and extended fake fighting. Neither Welter nor Seflin was available for comment as they were busy pretending to rip each other's faces off. 
Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Themes Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E dot com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's a subscription program. And when you sign up, you can cancel this subscription program at any time. So you can get a free pound, decide, you know, hey, that was a great great free pound. See you later. And... Never get anything else. No problem. But if you decide to stay, for every 10 people that uh, sign up there at coffee.freetalklive.com and continue to get their their coffee there, we're able to give another micro loan to another family around the world and help them have more personal freedom in their life. You have to be able to, you have to be making money. You have to have uh, you know, sort of your own business or whatever. That gives you a great deal more freedom. So it's coffee.freetalklive.com. It's shade grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. It's delicious coffee. You'll love it. Let's go to, this time, I'm going to try Tommy in Glasgow again. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, hi, Mark. Hey, you sound great. Yeah, you'd put me on hold. I think it was your fault, but I'll no hold that again. I think so. Yeah, but listen, it was just some, some of the comments that Brian was saying. I've been listening in most of the night. Uh, one of them was on the fact about Ireland, but very quickly, if I could talk about that caller who was on talking about uh, Iraq and American foreign policy. Sure. Mm. Uh, uh, before I go into uh, the, the stuff about Ireland, to correct something there that Brian said. But really, you know, if you analyse, uh, well, Britain called it the Arab facade. In 1914, uh, 1918, the, the First World War, was also fought in the Middle East. Oh, sure. This is and the it, Lawrence of Arabia stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and after the result was France and Britain, it was a Sykes-Picot uh, agreement, and they took control. Uh, they, they basically drew lines in the sand. Mm-hmm. Britain was losing uh, parts of the empire in Ireland and India where they were rebelling against it, and they found this new way of, uh, they call it now neocolonialism, but they called it at the time an Arab facade, where they found puppet leaders subservient to their interest, Britain and France's interest. So you'll find the remnants of that 100 years later almost uh, with the Saud family and all, all these regimes that were there. So way, way, way before the Shah of Iran, who coincidentally was America and Britain's best friend uh, in the region. Uh, and and for a time, he was one of the most despotic people there in, oh, in yeah. that region. 
and and then what happened? You found that the people of Iran, having seen that the oil was being dripped out of the country, because the whole reason of putting these uh, puppet leaders in place was to get the, the whatever the interest was, and obviously they realised, you know, you tap a stick in the, the desert in, in Saudi Arabia and you'll get oil. It's that oil rich. So they had to uh, divide it into small subparts, find corrupt leaders, and, and work it out how to, you know, get it out. And all the time when, well, it was for a long time up until the Suez crisis, where at the time Nasser, who was in the, the bed of uh, Britain, but then uh, Miles Copeland, he was a CIA double agent, and it worked out that in a book that he wrote, it said that uh, the, the ambassador had to try and placate, the British ambassador, the American ambassador in Britain, had to placate, uh, placate Anthony de Eden uh, to keep him in check, because what Britain hasn't been aware of, that Nasser was now in bed with the Americans. And then what happened, uh, Eden wanted to kill Nasser, but then to shut Britain up, and this is what Brit America did to the, the lovely friend of Britain, it sold the dollar reserve off of 20% of Britain. Uh, Anthony Eden, they became Sir Anthony Eden, but he was dethroned of his power. And then the new power in the block, because after the Suez crisis, America controlled about 60% of the, the Arabian oil, and Britain controlled about 40%. Prior to that, it was about Britain had 70%. Uh, and, and then declassified information from the United States military junta uh, after the Second World War says it was the greatest material prize in world history and although they couldn't put those troops in and station it they couldn't allow any other country to control it so then the the hegemony the 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 what britain called the arab facade the puppet leaders they in totality became in control of america so and if anyone there uh, became uppity then they would call it you know a coup d'etat, so they could have Mossadegh in Iran, they killed him to, put, to install the Shah of Iran, and then the people of Iran said, well, no, we don't want this, we want our country back, and then you had Ayatollah Khomeini, and then you found that they, they, they backed Saddam Hussein to fight a war against Ayatollah Khomeini, and then you find that they gave Ayatollah Khomeini, who was supposed to be the enemy of America, they gave him weapons through the back door when the Iran Contra affair. Yeah, yeah. They, they fought the war. It's in, amazing. In it's Don't amazing the amount of intrigue that's gone on in the Middle East and how much the United States has been involved. And still, people think that somehow the United States is going to solve the problem there in the Middle East. You're not going to solve the problem. You're the enemy. <laughs> Yeah, the only way they can solve it or can be solved is to take themselves completely out of the situation because, as I was finishing there, they took the, the drugs from Nicaragua, they killed half a million people in Nicaragua, this was the CIA, the own war, took the drugs, sold it in their own ghettos to the blacks, killed the blacks in, in the communities uh, because they were fighting a war against, you know, the black empowerment struggle from the 60s, 70s, they were wanting real rights, but then they killed the, they tried to kill the black power uh, organisation with drugs, took those drugs and then sold them, uh, sold those drugs and sold them and turned them into weapons to give to Iran, who were supposed to be our enemy. So the only solution is to take all the stuff that's happening there and just pull back. But sadly, because of that black gold being there, because of that oil, yeah. then they have to get hold of it. And Those really damn Arabs built their land, built their countries on top of our oil. Yes, and <laughs> I just jump onto the, the one about Ireland. How it was quite wrong of Brian to suggest it was completely a religious. Well, you people, you Irish, you went and built a country on top of all our beer. Yeah, see, there's two different. See, see that thing. <laughs> see the 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 the, the, the report that you were given. It was a lot of rubbish because there's two parts of Ireland. There's North of Ireland. And there's the part that's called just Ireland, and right. that would have been part of the report. Now, the the, the north of Ireland is where all the trouble has been, but it, it, it goes away back for hundreds of years, and it wasn't just a religious one. It was it go back to Oliver Cromwell, and it's British landowners going in there and usurping the people, similar to what's happened with uh, the Zionists going in in Israel and taking the people, they take the Palestinians out of the land and pushing them into a corner. Now, they did that to Ireland, and they caused what was called the potato famine, but it was really the great hunger, because the blight of the potato, uh, it was happening in other places in Europe, but what Britain done, it was administering the rule of Ireland, and it took out livestock and food and grains and wheat, took it out of Ireland when a million people were dying over 150 years ago, and that was called, they called it the great hunger, and that was engineered and controlled by Britain. And so, yes, 
It did happen for a war there. It happened uh, back in the 70s, 60s, 70s and 80s. It became almost a religious war because it was then enshrined that the community that was most targeted was the Catholic community. Now, my grandfather came from Ireland. I'm speaking with a Scottish accent because my mum came here in 1953. But just before the troubles flared, my granddad left there because he could see the division that was there. There was the B squads that were openly targeting Catholics. But you go back 200 years, you had Wolf Tone, who was a Protestant. You go back to James Connolly, who was a leader in the 1916 and he was a Protestant and he was all about the movement for social justice for all because as what Brian correctly said it's a, a us and them that is, is a us and them idea that is fostered between the elites and there is only one us and them left and that's a less than one percent who control the majority of the resources of the planet and less than 99 percent wake up and forget all these phony divisions that they're given to us uh, there is no division the only division is left is the people who rule us and until we take back what they have stolen that's our rights to live as proper human beings and to have our access to water oil and everything is there and not being stolen to that's the only division that's left and the people from ireland they know that the people from Palestine know it, and the people from the Middle East know it, and it's up to the people of Great Britain and America who live under these military junters that are ruling the place and dominating the world. The biggest terrorist states are America, Britain and Israel, because they are legalised by the United Nations to use their power but Tommy, their weapons of one of the things, against any country. One of the things that's really important to point out here, though, is, is that the you know, people in the United States and Great Britain, we may be getting the crumbs of the, the 1%, and actually I would say it's the 0.01%. Uh, but we might be getting their crumbs, but we're getting much bigger crumbs than the people in the Middle East. You know, um, our crumbs aren't uh, loaded with TNT and they blow up when we bite them. Um, that's what happens, uh, you know, many times with, uh, you know, those in the Middle East. They're just being dom bombed, double tapped and, and terrible things are happening to them. Thank Tommy, you. thank you so much for um, you your much. call. And I, you. call in soon and tell us what's going on with Scotland and the, uh, the vote love. for secession. I'm very interested in that. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Your call's next. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, 
health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3. 855-450-3. That's 855-450-3733. Now we might be able to squeeze you in here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. If you like what we do on Free Talk Live, please support us through the AMP program. The AMP program is our little Mouseketeer club, and we'd love to have you. Uh, for five bucks a month, you get uh, the AMP only call in lines, the AMP forum on Facebook, the Wait AMP forum on the BBS. Do you get a net Funicello? You do not. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, but there are pro- perks for the AMP program. And really, what you're doing is you're helping she was us spell, spread the ideas of liberty um, far and wide because none of the money on the AMP program goes to paychecks. It's for advertising, marketing, and promoting Free Talk Live. So if you think the Free Talk Live is like I do, one of the greatest methods for spreading the ideas of liberty, then please join the AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. Um, Let's go to Doug calling in from Alaska. Doug, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Doug. Doug, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, Doug. Yeah, Arkansas. Yes, what about Arkansas? Arkansas, you're not in Alaska, you're in Arkansas. What's on your mind? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Missouri, you know, you talk about everybody uh, targeting, you know, the, the young black man. Yep. Well, you know, the young black man is the majority of the people that aren't working and are out here on the streets running wild. Yeah, I think it's hard to, you know, it, it, you know the recession hit uh, blacks harder than it hit whites. Yep. Yeah. And they're, you know, the majority, they are the majority committing the crimes. I don't know if they are the majority committing the crimes. They're certainly majority getting arrested. Well, the ones getting arrested are the ones committing the crimes, correct? I don't know if the I don't know the answer to that. Um, there's certainly unsolved crimes, and if you oh, you know right. if you if a man with a hammer finds nails, right? Yes, and a police officer finds a man committing the crime. I don't know that that's necessarily true. I think that the you know if you if you're looking in the black neighborhoods for criminals, you're going to find criminals in the black neighborhood. I would agree with you that I think that it's a perpetuation, right? Like if we're going to be treated like criminals, let's act like criminals. So then they act like criminals, and then they get treated like criminals, and they act like criminals, and they get treated like criminals. So I think that there's this uh, um, this spiral. But why do you think that young black men create uh, uh, commit crimes on a higher scale than than most? Because they're not working. Um, and they're why do you looking, why do you think they're not working? They're not, they're not looking 
looking. They're now look, not out looking for jobs. They're looking That's for a, a free handout. That's a pretty gross generalization. Don't I don't think, think that uh, there's not too many males can get a handout. Uh, the majority that I know, that's all they do is get a handout. What what kind of handout are they? They're not getting mothers and infants, and they're not getting child uh, care assistance. What are they getting? They're getting food stamps. They're getting free phones. Are you sure? Uh, they're giving. You know, government, black government males. Assistance. You know, black males that are getting Pardon? government assistance. Yes. Okay. I don't I, know what to tell I, you. I've lived, in, I've lived in Central Arkansas all my life. Okay. And. That's the way it is around here. It was my understanding it's very difficult to get assistance, period, unless you're getting disability, unless you are female. And then it's much easier. But all of them are getting food stamps. Um, I don't. No, I doubt it's all. <laughs> the percentage of blacks that get food stamps is higher than the percentage of whites, but the number of white people that gets food stamps is higher than the number of blacks. Are you aware of that? No, I wasn't aware of that. Well, now you know. White people get more food stamps than black people. Can I change the subject about something? Sure. Uh, you know, this open border, I've owned the business for 27 years and had to close the doors because of the Hispanics. You had to close your uh, business's doors because of Hispanics? Yeah, because all of my competitors in the construction industry, that's all they use is Hispanics. They're not paying them work with cop on them. They're not paying Social Security. They're not paying unemployment. They're paying them all cash money. And I cannot bid against that. Well, why didn't you hire some? Because I'm not going to hire illegals. Well, when does a human being become... Why, why, how are they illegal? They're they just because they exist and they grew up on a different plot of land? No, because they're here illegally. There, there will be one, one Hispanic that is legal, and he will have twenty or thirty underneath him. And the man that so, owns the business. Okay, but for your competitors, it sounds like a lot of them they they found people that were really wanting to work, uh, very hard. Right, but is, is, is it right for them to get away? With not paying. Wait, well, hold on! But you jobs? just said black people sure. need to get jobs. Why can't Hispanic people get jobs? They're they're they're, they're just trying to find a decent job. That's what that's what you said the problem they're was here. with the young black men. But what's what, what's with the Hispanic legally. people? If they're here legally, yes, that's fine. If they're but here, what I'm talking about is these business owners that are hiring them, paying them cash money. Not paying workers' comp, not paying Social Security, not paying unemployment on them, paying cash money. Well, I, I get do, I get that that's an unfair practice, right? Like that uh, yeah. that that it's the the that the system that the 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 board isn't fair. But you do understand that the laws that there are such things as bad laws, right? Okay, so I, I that's why I take real umbrage with the term illegal, because it, what it does is it speaks to the power and the justice and the truth of the law. Well, the law stinks. Free people should be able to cross the borders of a free country, or you don't have either. You have neither free people nor a free country if free people can't cross the border. Free people what? should be able to work and build a better life for themselves. Now, I Please will agree with you. Go ahead. Then you go back to the young black man that can't get a job, then that's because we've got an open border. We don't even have enough jobs for the men and folks that we have here at home. I thought so you said they weren't we looking for jobs. Yeah, I thought you said they weren't looking. And if they're the mass, if they're the large po large population, like you were saying, then why is it a problem? I mean, the market needs to, you know, nature abhors a vacuum. If you need a worker and you're saying the young black people won't work, then why wouldn't you hire a Hispanic person? Despite the if fact that this is all wild generalizations. If he was here legally and he spoke English, I would hire him. Well... I, you know, I I guess I'm sorry that the marketplace isn't working out for you. That um, you know that that you can't get one ethnic group to work, and then the other ethnic group that wants to work you don't want. I don't know what to tell you, um, Doug. I do appreciate the call, though. Let's um, you know, you know what? Actually, I'm there's an interesting that whole yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's this really interesting story about you know people how they say well young people like he was just making the claim 
that a person that gets arrested, that's the person that committed the crime. That's essentially the claim. Yeah, that, that was essentially the, cl- the claim. And I, there was a great story, was it like 2007, where this a teenager uh, actually got, he was a, a murder suspect. And he had an MP3 player, and he recorded the interrogation. The police officer, okay, they you know they went to trial, the whole thing. The police officer outright lied, under oath, you know, to the judge, to the jury, the whole thing, and they and he lied like three times, okay. And the only reason that that got sent to light was that you know the young man recorded with an MP3 player how the in, the interrogation actually went or how the investigation actually went down uh, the idea that the police are somehow they're they're always right is ridiculous and we have plenty of cases i just brought up one let, let me go through this. Uh, we were talking about the list of socially free nations. I want to just r- run, ram through this list here. Sure. Um, so number seven tied with uh, Ireland is Iceland. Um, number eight, Denmark. By the way, you're going to find out the United States is not on the list of most free nations socially. Number nine, Estonia. I think Estonia is <laughs> It's a real success story. Um, there. <laughs> One of the Soviet, uh, former Soviet bloc uh, countries. Um, then Portugal, amazing uh, story with uh, Portugal as far as their freedoms, but you know, economically, they're in shambles. Well, especially since they lost Hong Kong. And number or Macau, they they had Macau, not Hong Kong. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, number eleven is Australia. So I was. I was hoping to see Canada on this list, but uh, it didn't. It just didn't show up. Wow! So surveillance state is not part of the personal freedom thing because Australia is the arguably next to maybe Britain, like the most surveilled country on the planet. Yeah, London has like a million closed circuit cameras on yeah. the streets of uh, the streets of London. Yeah, amazing stuff. Anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, Free Talk Live. Check us out in the meantime at freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you and Brian and Stephanie. And drive safely out there, freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The latest episode of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. 